Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are breaking down how to take pictures of a wholesale deal property and the three main pictures that people forget to take that are so important. So let's get right into the video. Yes, that's right. Today we are breaking down exactly how to take pictures of a wholesale deal property. That way you take the right pictures and take the pictures the right way. That way it's easier for you to sell your deals and you get more eyes on your deals and you get less questions from the cash buyers about your deals because you had all the pictures in the correct way and that is so important. So yes guys, it is super easy to take pictures of a property, but there are some key things that people mess up with and miss. So let's start here. The first thing you need to do is when you get to a property that you're taking pictures of that you have under contract, make sure you do not park in front of the house. Park in the neighbors, park in front of the neighbors, park across the street. That way when you take a picture of the front of the house, your car isn't in the way. Now, obviously take pictures of every room, okay? Every room, the kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, garage, all of that, right? Backyard, front yard, okay? But when you're in the bathrooms, make sure you remove the curtain from the shower and take a picture inside the shower. That way the buyer knows if they need to re put a new tub in, etc., etc., etc. okay? Another thing that you want to take a picture of is you want to get under the kitchen sink and all sinks if you want to do that as well. Open the cabinet, take a picture. That way you can see if there's been any water damage or not. That's a very important picture to take, okay? And now these are the three main pictures that everyone misses. Everyone misses these pictures. Tons of people do when you're getting into wholesaling real estate and you're a beginner, you're gonna miss these pictures. And But thank you for tuning in today because now you won't. Number one, you need a picture of the electrical box. Okay, if you don't take a picture of the electrical box, that could be a problem because the electrical bo box to replace it could cost three to four thousand dollars. So it's a very important picture to take that most people forget. But really, most of the time on these distressed properties that we're wholesaling, the electrical box is beat, right? It is rusted out and it really needs to be replaced. Okay, that it won't pass inspection. So that's why it's very important to take a picture of that. Number two, if you can, if you don't have a drone, we have a drone, so we fly the drone up over the house and we fly it near the AC unit if we actually have time to go out and take really good pictures of the property. But otherwise, just zoom in with your phone on the AC unit. That way you can try to get a picture of the AC unit, a good solid picture of that, okay? Another thing that you need a picture of is the hot water heater. Most people don't get a picture of the hot water heater. Yes, it's only like a $500 thing, but it's an important picture to take and most people forget. So yes, do not forget those three pictures because it is so important when you're blasting out your deals and doing deals that you're providing your cash buyers with good pictures. The less questions they have to ask you about the property, the more they're gonna to come to your deals and want to buy from you. So it's all about providing that, right? Obviously, we're not trying to get pictures for the MLS, right, for the market. No, it's a distressed property. We just need pictures that show what needs to be fixed, that show what the current condition of the property is. We don't need them to look spectacular or pretty. We just need the right things in the property documented so that way the buyer knows what they need to do if they're going to come in and buy the deal. That way they can accurately calculate their repair cost. That way, you know, you don't have to walk through as many buyers as well because they ran their numbers better because your pictures provided them enough insight to be very accurate on their numbers before even walking the property. So nine out of the 10 times, if they really wanted to walk it, they're going to buy right after walking because they came into it already knowing the, what was gonna happen and what they needed. Nothing popped up, nothing crazy popped up because you had pictures of the pool, you had pictures of the electrical box, the hot water heater, the AC unit, all these big costs that people don't look at that, um, that can come into play, you documented for them to know so that when they walked into the deal to buy from you, they were prepared to execute on the deal. All right guys, but I'm gonna actually pick up the camera right now and kind of walk through the property and explain how you wanna take these pictures 
And yeah, so let's get right into that. All right, so let's walk through the property so I can give you a little rundown of how to take pictures. So when you get to the property, make sure you do not park in front. That way your car's not blocking your front picture. And then you wanna back up as far as you can so you can get a picture of the whole front of the house. Okay, and then the next thing you wanna do is try to stand up as tall as you can and try to get a picture of the roof the best you can. That way the buyer can tell the condition of the roof. All right, and now we're gonna walk into the property. You wanna to try to turn on every light you can. Unfortunately, the lights are not working, most of them in this property. But you wanna to try to light up the rooms the best you can so that way your camera picks up the best. And then you wanna go in the corners of the rooms. You wanna stand in the very back corner. That way you pick up the whole room, okay? So we're going through. We're grabbing pictures of every room and from the corner. We're turning all the lights we can on, all right? Here's a bedroom, for example. We're going in the corner, grabbing a picture of that. Here's a bathroom. Like I said, you can check under the sink and take a picture to make sure there's no water damage. Okay, you wanna move the curtain away and then grab a picture inside the shower as well. That way they can tell if they need to replace the tub. All right. And grab a picture like that. Walk through here. Go in the back of the corner of the bedrooms. Boom, grab a picture. So when your seller asks you how long is it gonna take for you to walk through the property, tell them, you know, five to 15 minutes, it's super quick, all I gotta do is walk through and get, grab pictures super quick and it's super easy to do it. So when they ask how long it's gonna take, it takes barely any time. The majority of the time is talking to the seller. All right, so, right, take a picture under the sink, make sure there's no water damage. Grab a picture of this bathroom, just like that. Let's head out to the kitchen. So yeah, just kinda wanted to do this video. It's probably most of it's common sense, but um, a lot of it, when you're beginning, you don't really know what to grab and the seller's there with you, so you kinda miss some shots that you need to take. But all right, we're grabbing a picture of the kitchen. We're gonna grab a picture under the kitchen sink. Make sure there's no water damage, okay? We come through here, grab a picture of that room, laundry room, we go out into the garage. Here is number one of the three pictures everyone misses. We need a picture of the hot water heater. So go and find the hot water heater, they look like this, and take a picture of that, okay? You grab a picture of the garage. We come out here to the backyard. All right, here comes number two of the three most pictures that most people miss, okay? That is the electrical box. This is number two of what most people miss. So you wanna open up the electrical box and grab a picture of it because this property, the box is in good shape, but most of these distressed properties that we're doing wholesale deals with, they're in horrible condition, all right? We come out here, and I talked a little bit about the pool. You gotta take really good pictures of the pool, and there's certain spots on the pool that you don't wanna miss. All right, so grab a picture of the pool like this, but then you wanna go to the steps, and you wanna get a picture of the steps, because most of the time when a pool is needing to be replaced, you're gonna see the cracks to start around the edge of the steps. That's where you see the cracks start most often. But this pool is in really good shape. It's a Pebble Tech pool, so there's no problems with that. All right? And here is number three of the most missed pictures by people. You gotta try to zoom in as much as you can and get a good picture of the AC unit. That way, the buyer knows that it's in good shape or that they need to replace it. Also, you wanna grab a picture of the pool equipment because that's a pricey one if you do need to replace it. All right? Let me walk over here. You want to go in the corner of the backyard and make sure you get a wide angle picture of the whole backyard, just like this. All right guys, but that is pretty much it for this YouTube video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm giving away a ton of free real estate material on my website, jacobblank.com. So if you haven't checked out jacobblank.com already, please go check it out. I'm giving away a free script, a free purchase agreement, and a free assignment agreement on there. 
and I'm also showing you all the services that I use in my business on that website. So if you're just getting started in wholesaling real estate, a great place to go when you're getting started is jacobblank.com. Other than that, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.